Okay, joining me is Lieutenant Colonel Mike Dials from the 11th Brigade. So, first of all, how long have you been on the island and what are you doing? Um, so, we've uh, Liverpool Brigade deployed a liaison officer myself uh, in March to help the hospital uh, assess the requirement to expand their beds and, uh, and see how the military can support where required. Uh, that's what we've been doing. Brilliant. And how long is it going to be on the island for? Um, essentially, as long as it takes. Um, the guys have broken the back of the task so far. Um, we're currently in the setup phase and we'll transition into sustainment. So once we're in sustainment phase, we'll look at what this resource may or not be needed. Um, but ideally, we want to lead with island resources first. So we volunteers and contact. Brilliant. Okay. And also, have you ever planned like anything, anything like this for anything like this before? Um, not pandemic. And getting yeah, specific, um, but what I would say is the military like planning. Um, that's one of the things that we are arguably fairly good at. Um, and if you don't, over the last sort of four or five years, there's been a series of operations that have been involved that require this kind of outlook on thinking. Um, and really, this is just no different to that. It's just, but you know, the added disadvantage of social distancing has made it a bit harder. Yes, and how long are you going to be on the island for? Is there any sort of idea on that? We, we, we take a view on a sort of weekly basis, so the next sort of discussion will be on, probably on Sunday, um, and then we'll decide what resources will remain going forward. Brilliant, and do you help out with the NHS Nightingale building of that hospital? Uh, not personally, but there have been many military colleagues that have, um, and clearly within our organisation we're plugged into different resources. Um, there are military assessment teams, which are small groups of four individuals with different competencies that move around and look at specific things. So, but, uh, yeah, we're here to support. Brilliant, you're here to support. And also, um, what is your message of reassurance to islanders? It's quite rare to have the island, to have the army here on the island. So, what is your sort of message to them? Um, I mean, one of the things that I would absolutely always is, is, is the competence to sit within the trust, uh, both the, the, the management team and the supporting uh, organisations have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've been able to provide some good cause effort um, and a little bit of structure in some areas, but other than that, you know, we've played really a relatively small part, to be fair. Uh, but hopefully we re reassure developers that we're here and we're here to support. Okay, brilliant. And also, can we talk a little bit about the reserves in the Isle of Wight and what the role they're sort of playing during this whole thing? Okay, sure. So the Isle of Wight reserves uh, are here under community engagement, so they're proper volunteers. Uh, they're supporting the Scots Guards, the task that we're currently taking, and uh, you know, I see that continuing uh, as we transition into the sustainment phase. I think that the Isle of Wight troops will definitely be involved. Okay, brilliant. And they're going to be planning and doing logistics and things like that as well? Well, logistics is their core function, um, absolutely, but we don't know what we don't know yet. We we're building the capacity for additional beds, and we don't know the effect of using those additional beds in the hospital, but we need also the island as well. Well, so we may need some focus on those. And just so people are clear, those additional beds, where are they being sort of, where are they going to be put? Um, the existing beds are within the hospital infrastructure. Um, they basically re rolled um, an outpatient area and an education centre and a records location. So it's, it's, it's good in the sense it's, it's within the support system. Um, and uh, you know, the, the army of contractors that are in there now making those spaces more palatable. Finally, how many additional beds are you thinking at the minute? How many additional for? beds? Um, well, the task for us was to help create an additional 200 beds, but the Trust has plans to create more as required. Okay. So, Thank you very much.